Brutnib is a great example of how the new legislation, the breakthrough legislation, can really accelerate uh, the development of promising drugs so that they can get to patients sooner. Um, it allows us on the Janssen side, in working with our partner uh, Pharmacyclics, to really put the additional resources that are needed um, to go above and beyond uh, getting the drug uh, developed more quickly. Um, it also allows us to engage with FDA on a more frequent basis, and we've had several uh, FDA meetings where we've discussed uh, plans for bringing ibrutinib forward in terms of study design, and they're really, uh, FDA is really a true partner um, in those discussions, and often they will bring their most senior people uh, into those discussions to really uh, help us with, with accelerating the development of the drug. So from our perspective, it, it gives us the type of uh, feedback uh, and insights that we need from, from FDA, which then allows us to design the proper trials um, in a more urgent manner uh, to get the drug uh, available. In this case, ibrutinib, which is extremely promising uh, and already suggests that there's evidence, the, the evidence already suggests that is better than available therapy. So that's why it's so important to have this type of legislation path a breakthrough designation path that really facilitates um, our desire um, and the medical community's desire to get this drug uh, to patients even faster.